What's going on? What's going on? We are back, man. Talk of the town today is Big Baby Miller. We haven't heard from him for a little bit. He's been quiet in a cut, locked up in a closet somewhere um, since he turned uh, tested positive with his last um, drug test. Now, this wasn't the first time that he's tested positive. This is, I believe, his third time. I believe he had tested positive, I think, once before when he was a kickboxer. Um, he tested, obviously, positive when he was, uh, um, who was he supposed to face? I don't remember who he was supposed to face, but he had tested positive back then. Um, Anthony Joshua, that's who he was supposed to face. He was supposed to face Anthony Joshua. Um, he was looking at making a uh, ishload of money. Um, they said with this whole contract, he's looking at making a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to mention, because he wasn't getting paid just the millions he was getting paid for Anthony Joshua. Win or lose, I believe he had, um, he was guaranteed monies for the next two or three fights as well. You know, obviously we don't think it would have got to that third fight because it's on time doing them cuts. But he still would have had like probably one, two of those fights and made substantially more money as well. And with the finances he would have made off that, he would have been able to do some major things. You can do some things with that kind of money, man. Go and invest that right. Purchase an ish load of real estate that's bringing you in soft income on a monthly basis. You good. If you invest it right in the stock market, <laughs> everything's on wholesale right now. Wholesale. You know what I mean? Where you put money in certain things, you know you're going to double, double, triple your money in the next 24 months. You know? Get yourself some Delta stocks. Now, Boeing. Get yourself some Boeing stocks. Some Spirit stocks. Get yourself some Under Armour stocks. You know what I mean? Things like that. That you know, they're going to be alright. You know? Disney stocks. They're going to be jumping up too. A lot, of, a lot of different things you can do. Where you can end up, you know, doing real, real good. You know, financially when it comes to the market. Um, but... You know, he chose to use these drugs and he chose to use everything. Like he just took like the whole pharmaceutical, went to the pharmaceutical cabinet, put everything up in like one big giant needle and just stabbed himself in the neck or something because everything was in his system. And um, that was the second time he tested positive. I was obviously um, lost that opportunity, um, got cut off when it came to the zone and Eddie Hearn and everything like that. Ended up signing with Bob Arum um, in top rank. Tested positive again. Now, his previous time, he said it was because uh, he had some kind of things that was going on, and his doctor injected him with that stuff, which is bullish. Because if that was the case, he would have been able to sue that doctor for a lot of money for malpractice and come off heavy and big time. Um, and that's not what he did. So we all know that was BS. And um, this particular time, now what he's saying is that the reason he tested positive was because he was taking um, pills for you know, you know, for sexual stuff to get himself up and that's the reason why he tested positive you know which is no one's obviously going to believe that you know what I mean this is like the 50th time you tested positive that's number one and number two you're not a moron you know you know not to put anything especially a pill into your body a protein shake any weird stuff like that into your body without it getting test checked first and he also knows that they actually have when, it, when you're getting these tests done, whether you're getting done for like USADA, things of that nature, you can give them a list of the things that you're using. And then they'll be able to tell you if there's any ingredients in there that might test positive. You can send them samples of it where they'll test it, you know, and they'll be able to see if there's anything in it, you know, that is, you know, that's banned. So they'll do all the work for you. You know, you just have to give them a list and give them the stuff. And they will tell you, yeah, that's cool. Nah, this is not cool. Especially when it comes to like a lot of the protein shakes, because with the protein shakes, sometimes you could be because of the labs are being made in, they could have contaminated, and they could be contaminated. So you always take a sample of it, send it out, get it checked out. It's good. All right, cool. That batch is straight, you know, and you do it that way. But so you know, basically, I mean, it's, it's BS. This is one of those situations where it's like, man, at some point you just gotta just take the L. You know, admit to your wrongdoings um, and just stop effing up, you know. I mean, the guy, he's tested positive a bunch of times, but other people have been given chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. So obviously, 
he should be given that same opportunity. But if but stop lying to people, okay? Stop lying to people. People not people don't believe you. You know, people are not going to believe you. Not to mention even the gym that you work out at. You know what I mean? He works out at a gym where this is the mecca when it comes to East Coast bodybuilding. IFBB Pro dudes that are juiced up to the freaking gills. Those dudes that are shredded and cut up 5% body fat at 240, 250 pounds, 260 pounds. You know, you got freaking when it comes to certain uh, when it comes to certain divisions and you know on the Olympia, you got guys who have come in second, third, fourth in certain divisions who go to that gym. You know, the guy, the head person at that gym, you know, he's known for critiquing people when it comes to their physiques to go, you know, that are IFBB pros, you know, and basically you're IFBB pro, basically, especially if you're one of them top guys, you are on ish. Like this, this, you're not getting to that level unless you're on ish. These are the people that are on the Arnold stage. You know, these are the people that are winning at the Olympia. You're not on that level without being on something. This is the people that he's around on a regular basis. These are his guys. These are his people. These are his boys. He's around on a consistent basis. You know, so obviously, clearly, he has direct access to all this stuff. You know, and it's just at some point, you just got to stop. You know, you just got to stop. People don't believe you. Like, you, you just stop. <laughs> It's one of the things where he, if he starts to talk, all you have to do is just say, stop, bit, Miller, stop, enough. And where does his career go on from now? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Because I'm not sure if Bob Aram's going to want to deal with him again. I'm not sure if Eddie Hearn's going to want to deal with him again. So if those two aren't going to be willing to do, deal with him again, I don't know if Al Heyman PBC is going to be willing to deal with him. If no, none of these guys want to deal, deal with him, it's going to have to, I don't know, sign to some second tier person, do some kind of a couple of mid-level shows and show that he can actually fight and not test positive for substances. And then from there on, go ahead and do his thing. Or maybe go back to a Bob Aaron where you got to sign an f contract where for a couple of fights, you're going to be fighting for like really low tier money, you know, but... I think Baby Miller, you know, he will be back again. I believe he will be fighting again. Um, he will be in the pro ranks again, um, fighting at the highest level of, again. Um, how he's going to do it, I don't know. You know, but he might be put into a position where he has to do some work um, in order to get there. And he might have to take some L's financially in order to get there. But like I said, man, 2020 is a crazy year. You know, 2021 is going to be even crazier. Just got to see how everything pans out. But for now, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.